Well, hello, it's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd bring you a grocery haul slash clothing haul, really just a come along with me to Target. I headed out to Target only expecting to buy one or two items, but we all know how that goes. So I did pick up some groceries. I also picked up some clothing and I had to try them on here at home because their dressing rooms were closed. So I thought I'll just pick up some items, not sure what size I am, bring them home and try them on for you guys as well. I am on the WW Blue plan. So any foods that I pick up, I'll make sure I mention the point value within the video or put them at the bottom of the screen. And then for the clothing, I'll describe each item as well as give you sizing and then you can see how it all works out with what I picked. All right, if that sounds like something that interests you, then stay tuned. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, it's free. Yeah, it's free. You can go ahead and do that because I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content more regularly, and I want you to be a part of that, you know? As far as likes, just a simple thumbs up on the video helps my video to be suggested to other people who might need that information. And comment, please, because I love to interact with you guys. I like to see who's kind of watching the videos, what you guys thought. Matter of fact, for this particular video, let me know what your favorite piece is from the try-on portion of Target Haul. All right, let's get right into the video. Well, good morning. I went to Target and I got some things. It's supposed to be just a couple of quick things that I was gonna buy, but I ended up buying quite a few items. So I thought I'd do a quick run through of this and then we'll move forward. First, I'll start over here with the kids stuff that I bought. So I got my daughter some of these macarons. She loves these. Not just this brand, but any macarons, period. So I went ahead and got those for her. Also, she likes this um, Devour macaroni and cheese with the buffalo chicken in it, so I got one of those for her. And then for both of my kids, I got two packets of Hot Pockets, so those are really for them. I don't know the points for those. The rest of this stuff is pretty much for us, so I will include all the point values for that. The first thing is these tater tots I got, which are Market Pantry brand, and these are 10 puffs for five points. The next thing I got was some of these blueberry pomegranate armor body light. This is, I think one point for this 12 ounce bottle, but if you drink eight ounces, it's zero points. And my son likes those, so I got a bottle for him and a bottle for me. Just a few quick ones. I got these Smart Sweets um, gummy worms, which I'm gonna try these over on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, go ahead and head over because sometime this weekend, I'm gonna be trying these over there. And um, I bought an extra pack because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway over on Instagram and that's gonna be announced this weekend as well. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I'll put my handle here on the screen. I bought, also bought some other items that I'm gonna include in the giveaway just to keep up with the Halloween theme. This is mini M&Ms that can be used on apple nachos and this is a mini pumpkin Reese's cup. So that's why I bought those was a part of the giveaway. I bought myself some lashes because I wear eyelashes. The thing I bought was some of these Smash Mallow Toasted Vanilla Marshmallows. Now, I saw these a couple of places. Coleman WW 
review these, but I also saw someone on Instagram, she uses marshmallows, chocolate chips, and a graham cracker little pie crust to make individual s'more cups. And I wanna make those with my kids probably this weekend. These little marshmallows are four marshmallows for four points, but they're quite big. Like, let me see if I can put it. They're like this size. So I probably only need two, which would be two points for the marshmallows in the cup. And that's what I bought these for. I bought these pumpkin sugar cookies. And the reason why I bought these is because we've been eating a lot of sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies by Toll House. And one cookie is four points. These are two cookies for five points, which is pretty good. So I'm excited to try these because I love a good fresh baked sugar cookie. I bought more of my staple Mission Carb Balance tortillas. These are two points for this size tortilla and I love those. I found these on clearance at Target, which was instant grits in multiple flavors and I love grits. And these are three points per pack and I thought I could maybe take those to work with some eggs and bacon for lunch. I bought these Brazzy Bites breads and my sister rant and raved about these. She got a big box at BJ's, but I found these at Target, just a smaller one. Three little breads are four points. So I'm excited to try those. I got these garlic and cheese stuffed mushroom caps. I think I'm gonna make myself a steak and have some mushroom and asparagus on the side. These are four mushroom caps for five points. So I totally think it's worth it, but I love mushrooms and anything stuffed with cheese is just an extra win. <laughs> I bought another staple that I always get, which is the air fried chicken breast fillets. And those are actually four points per fillet. I got, found these air fried chicken nuggets. Now four of these is, no, five of these is four points. So I'm going to be using those and just having those with some tater tots on the side as a quick lunch with some fruit. And I'm also going to give some of these to my kids. So I think that's a win. I'm excited to try those. I never tried those before though. The whole reason why I went to Target, let me take this down. The whole reason why I went to Target was to get this flips. Um, mini bags or chocolate covered flips. Each little mini bag is three points. Super excited about that. While I was there in the Halloween section, I also saw circus animal cookies. I love me some circus animal cookies and these are in the shape of cats and bats, which even sounds better to me. <laughs> and um, when I scanned it, it said eight points, but that's the serving size is two pouches. So one little pouch will only be four points. So I think I can take this as a quick snack with me to work. I got a re-up on my mini snack mix, which this one is 14 pieces for, I think it's seven points for 14 pieces. And me and my kids loved these. They're so good. They're actually in my August favorite video, which I will link the link above. If you haven't seen that video, this is one of the items that was in there because they are so bomb. And my son already opened it, but I've also got him a Monopoly Cheaters edition. So we're gonna be playing that tonight. And I think that's it for all the grocery items. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer. I did also buy some clothes. So I'll include a quick try on haul of the clothes that I bought. Before we get started, I wanted to disclose just some information about myself. So like I said, I'm on the Weight Watchers plan. I started off at probably like a size 20 bottom and top. I'm pretty even all the way down. You'll see I have, you know, big arms, big belly, big stomach, big legs, big everything. You know, I always tell people the only thing big, not big on me is my head. Everything else is big. But um, I started off at about a size 20, maybe an 18 in some items. And now when I put on my size 18 toward jeans, they're baggy. So I figured I probably wear like a size 16 but it might be like a plus size 16 versus at Target, it's like a teen size 16, you know what I mean? So I don't know exactly how that's gonna translate, but I picked up most of the items that I have either in an extra large in the junior section or a size 16. So let's just see how this all works. Okay, first item I got was these jeans. They're shorts actually. And they are high rise shorts made by Wild Fable, which I do love the Wild Fable brand, but 
I don't think I could ever fit it before. Um, they say there are 33 waist. They have a button fly. So the fly is all button. And they're the high rise, like high in the front, but long in the back type short. So these type shorts make you feel like you're wearing a Daisy Duke, but if you bend over, nothing kind of falls out, you know? And I've always been interested in these shorts. They have these in a lot of small straight sizes, but plus sizes, they usually don't make these like this. And so when I saw these, I was like, I'm gonna pick them up. Now we're heading into fall, winter. So I don't even know if I'll get a wear out of them, but they were only $15. And you know that is cheap for a pair of shorts. So I thought I'd try them on. Um, so you should be seeing them somewhere here on the screen as I try them on. Let me know what you think. I'm questioning if I should keep them or not, just because we're about to go into a season change. Had it been the beginning of summer, I would have kept these boys. However, they're just a little bit tight around the top and they create a little bit of a muffin top, which is easily disguised with a t-shirt, you'll see. But I feel like another five pounds, they would fit solid. And by then, that'll be another week or two, we'll be thick into fall season and I might not get a good wear out of them. Cause by next summer, girlfriend's about to be even smaller. You hear me? Okay. So I don't know if I'm gonna take those back or not. To be decided. Next item I got was this shirt. It's just a regular t-shirt. It's a straight t-shirt. It's size extra large and it was $12.99. And you already know why I got this shirt. Let me show you. Cause it says tacos and cervezas. That's right, tacos and beers. Which, you know, I'm a foodie. So this shirt spoke to me and um, it's a size, like I said, extra large. It's pretty long for a t-shirt because at one point I think in the try on, I just took my pants off. You couldn't even see anything, it's so long. And I wish it kind of cut in a bit. I don't know, now that I'm a little bit smaller, I want things to be a little more fitted. Is that wrong? It's true though. So it's kind of boxy and square, but because it has the word tacos on it, it won my heart. And for $12.99, come on, you can't do better. The next item I got was this dress. I can't hold it up, but you'll see it in the try-on haul. This is the print on it. It's like really florally print. And it's like a peasant dress. I thought I would really like it because it's so flowy. Um, it was size extra large and it's $29.99. And it's made by Universal Thread Goods Company. That's the brand at Target. And this dress was pretty. I think it's a little bit too big. I probably could have just went for a straight large and it would have fit just fine. Um, so I might try to size down on it um, because I do like it. I just wish it fit a little bit more. Again, I think I'm kind of going for the more fitted look these days. And this is just so flowy and flouncy that it almost makes me look bigger and it's not showing my shape as much because it's so flowy, but it is a really pretty dress. $29.99, I don't know if I love it that much. You know what I mean? The next item I tried on was by the brand A New Day, which I like that brand. And this top is uh, has eyelets all over the sleeves with like a flouncy two layer sleeve. And then it has a cutout right here in the middle. The problem with this shirt, I really, really like this shirt. I like the style of it. The moment I saw it inside Target on the shelf, I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. And then this color, I don't know if you guys can tell right now because I don't have a red lip on, but if I have this color and a red lip, ooh, girlfriend looking good. It's a good color for my skin tone. But the only size they had was a double XL. So they had a double XL and it's only $20. And because I like the style of it so much, I thought I'm gonna pick it up. But when I tried it on, it just didn't do all that it did on the hanger. You know what I mean? It just didn't do all that for me. And I think I need it one size down. So I might look on Target online and see if I can find a smaller size of that. Next item I got was from A New Day as well. And this is an ivory colored sweater. 
Uh, it's kind of like a thinner sweater, so it would do good for fall. It is ribbed. It was in a size extra large and it's $20, which is really cheap. It's really warm and the cream color really plays against my skin well. And I feel like I have a lot of items that this can go to. This would be like a good winter staple piece. So I really like that. Even after I tried it on, I was like, I can mix and match this with quite a bit of things that I already have, quite a bit of skirts and jeans and pants. So I'll probably keep it as a winter staple piece. The next shirt I tried on was by A New Day as well. And it's this black, what is the material on this shirt? Let me see. Mm, it doesn't have it, but it has this weird like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it has like this weird feel. It's pretty thin. What drew me to this shirt was these sleeves. Look how big they are. I got some big arms and I figured I'm sure I can fit that shirt and it should look real flouncy and kind of like, you know, uh, butterfly -y. And I thought I would like that look. butterfly -y. Is that even a word? Anyway, um, it's by A New Day and it was extra large and $20 as well. Now this shirt didn't impress me either. See, that's why dressing rooms need to be open because I'm telling you, I don't have the eye to just pick something and be like, that's gonna look good on me. I have to try things on. I don't know if everybody else is like that. And I think that's why I haven't been extremely drawn to shopping because I don't wanna go in there and try on 50 things only to come out with one piece, you know? So I kinda online shop, try things at home. If I really need something, I go for it. And right now I need some pieces because my regular clothes are just getting too big, you know? But when I tried it on, it kinda just didn't wow me, so. There's that. And the last item I got was by Universal Thread Company as well. I got these in a size 16 and these are $29.99. And they are this leopard print pant. Really cute print. Oh my God, so cute. Um, the problem with these that I didn't pay attention to when I was in the store is that they're wide leg and they are crop pants. Now it doesn't say that anywhere on here. It says, Slim hip and thigh, straight leg, vintage stretch, size 16. So maybe because I'm 5'9", because that's the other thing I didn't mention, I'm 5'9". So when I put these on, they end up being like a crop pant to me, which I really didn't like that look. So these are definitely going back for $30. They just didn't wow me. And I really could put some boots over them and cover up the crop part of the pants, but then I can only wear them when I'm wearing boots, you know? And for $30, I think I can find something else that works a little bit more fluid with what I'm trying to do. So that's all the items that I tried on from Target. Let me know what your favorite piece is down in the comment. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a video about my weight loss soon, my first three months on Weight Watchers, and that should be the next video that comes out. On that video, I'm going to be announcing a giveaway. So please stay tuned for that video. Don't forget to subscribe so you could be a part of that giveaway because I appreciate your support here on YouTube as well. All right, I think that's everything that I have to say. You guys take care. Bye-bye.